I'm pregnant. Yeah. Uh, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I, I really wanted you to showcase some of those things. Okay. Because I know that when when I'm dealing with most companies, it's like it's like customer service has gone out the window. Well, they customer service as far as leaving us managers in cosmetics. Everybody has their own bay manager. The cosmetic line has their own manager. There's one big manager over all the department. Anyway, and what it became to after like a year ago when everyone was kind of getting laid off, you never saw these people again. They never surfaced. They were all downstairs, and then, so it was always it was always up to us anyway, and that's the way we prefer it. But uh, then uh, the customer service just left. It the I mean they got rid of pretty much half the store anyway. So you were just gonna have that was not their main. Goal mm -hmm. was customer service. It and is I remember her. Goal. I it remember her line. when I'd go to them buy from her, and I'm a friend, and I wanted to buy from her. Mm -hmm. If I had a product out that she thought was better for me with another line, she'd take me right over there. And she did not ever do the sale herself. She let the person at the bay sell me. Well, yeah. And so that they could make the commission. Yeah. And I thought that she so she treated the people around her well. So well, I'm not going to say. I mean, really, I, if it's not right for you, mm -hmm. just like. Yeah. If it's not right for you, you shouldn't be buying that. And yeah. yeah. I wish I could do things for money. I really do. <laughs> I well, I'm not good at that. Well, but I guess that's that's my point, is yes. that is that for somebody, so for you employers out there, when you're looking for somebody who who understands what it means to take care of a customer, and if you've got a good product, want somebody who's going to be passionate about endorsing it and making sure that it gets in the right hands, and I'm going to turn left here for a second, that's one of the things in my business, that I don't want clients who are not a good fit for me. Because yeah. it's not a good experience for them, and it doesn't, it, it's not good for my reputation. It's not good for them, yeah. and that's the same thing with you. If if you want, you know, if you want somebody who's just going to sell indiscriminately, Dorcas probably isn't your person. But if you want somebody who's really going to be passionate and build relationships, and build relationships, and and take care of your customers, mm -hmm. then then <coughs> Dorcas is your check. So when you envision your ideal career well you have to say check now you've got that really hot hair Broadway <laughs> I'm on Broadway now that's my ideal career I want to be up right now uh, now we talked about this we understood from our experience with American Idol that having a vision <laughs> does not necessarily mean that you're going to achieve that vision <laughs> well, that's just a fantasy that's on the fantasy you got to be 28 list. that's <laughs> Only you get the worst again. So some coaches will tell you that all you have to do is is dream it and believe it, and you'll get there. I really truly believe some underlying talent is is <laughs> <laughs> necessary. Dream it and it doesn't mean you're really good. That's right. Okay. That's right. So per so perhaps um, Broadway hobby. Yeah, <laughs> Broadway hobby. So when you envision your ideal career, um, you know, at a high level, what's it have to have? They have to have. Uh, uh, they have to have. Uh, I'm thinking. What? Well, I can't think. I just. That's another thing that happens when you're 50. By the way, you can't think of anything. Uh, the. Uh, I want them to care about their people that they work for, with, and they care about their customers. They have to have um, integrity. It's integrity. Oh. Okay. Very good. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Help me. Group. Integrity and want to be and want to be in business for a while, looking for character. Yeah. You know, and to Think me, it, yeah, to me, if I can chime in, you Challenge. know, just absolutely, just the short, you know, period of time that I've known uh, D, um, I, you know, I, I would say, you know, if 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 I was in that situation, I would look for something uh, similar. You know, yeah. um, obviously, she feels good about working for companies. Obviously, mm -hmm. she feels good about you know having management responsibilities. Obviously, she feels good about uh, sales, you know, obviously she feels good about customer service. All those, you know, um, you can find in competitor, you know, companies. So that, that uh, to me, maybe you should start looking at, you know, who is the strongest competitor to Lancome? Would it be Estee Lauder? You know, retail is just so brutal, though. I mean, with the hours and stuff. Right, well, but but but, it, but it, what I'm but saying it, is, but it could be a software, but it could be a software product. It, it could yeah. be. It, it could be. It could be. But you know, I I don't know. You know, I, I something like that. I know what long comes all about because I'm in the beauty industry. So right. I mean, I, there, you're. Maybe she could sell beauty products like the guys that came over. And right. Sell that stuff, exactly. You know. Exactly. You know, and maybe work for herself and work with the sales commission. Maybe she could sell liquor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, easy. <laughs> 
Oh, the back of my truck. Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's from West Texas, Texas you know. And, 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 and let me tell you what, we've got to oh, move yeah. along. Okay. Right. And, and, but I am just really enjoying this, and I could just sit here and talk forever about it, but we've got, we've got <laughs> Jennifer Looney, who's going to be taking her to a networking event, and you're going to maybe start forming, and then she's going to be back, and we can follow up with some of the stuff. Of the yeah. stuff so we can get off stuff, too. And do, <laughs> yeah. We can get some more depth on some yeah. things. Yeah. So like, you've definitely picked up on some things that I'd like to hear more about, but let's Everybody go ahead and really do a break for the show, and we've Thank had our... You. Our time with George, thank you, uh, uh, Carol Ann, and thank you, Alexander Antonio, for, for my for pleasure. Dorcas. And we're going to come up with Jennifer Looney, who will be helping Dorcas Monday night. Mm -hmm. We're going to be going to that B Harmony event. I think we're all going to be at the B Harmony event. Yes, yes, yes. And so this B is going to be, I think, we will find a fit for her. At least we kind of know as people looking for somebody what kind of people to introduce her to. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to be right back. We're going to change yeah, uh, spots here. <laughs> and we're going to be back with Jennifer Looney oh, with oh, B Harmony. And we'll be talking about uh, networking and, and looking for a job.